Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna start one of the ballerina ladies. I'm gonna link you the lady that basically invented that in the description. Um, what it is, is a Dutch pour, just a very one directional Dutch pour. And then later on you embellish it with the upper body or the head and the legs of the ballerina. So the dancing ballerina, of course there could also be other things you make out of it. And then it looks, the skirt is out of acrylic pouring and the rest is painted on. So um, again, with a pour like this, you won't tilt them. You need a background color, but you, you don't need so much paint to actually spread over the edges. So I sometimes just pre-paint it, then I need way less base. Just quickly with a brush or your fingers, doesn't really matter. Then another thing you need to consider is, okay, where is my little person? If you have the upper body and the hands eventually like here, means your skirt needs to be around the lower part of the canvas, means your puddles need to go relatively in the center that you can blow it out to the bottom. Also, you should, as always in the Dutch pool, preferably have colors that go well together. I'm gonna try this time with the turquoise background. I think that could be cool. Then I have orange, gold, a little bit of purple and blue. I'm not sure if I want to put white, eventually not. And uh, so it's going to be a little bit tone in tone, the skirt and then the black body and head and arms and legs. Okay, so I'm going to film this from this perspective because you can see the hair dryer moving better, but it's possible that you have my shoulder or my hat in the picture then. Okay, let's give it a go.
so this is already pretty cool but it's so this is really cool actually but uh, it's always a bit pity with the light but i need it a little bit more um to also cover yeah and you know if i want to put the body otherwise i need to paint the whole skirt so i'm gonna try and hopefully not mess it up completely then to put another little blob and very little pour it out over there but here's some really really cool icing I'm putting this much because even if I later have too too much of the Dutch pour, it, it seems to drown a lot. And that's the reason is that the partially this is mixed with varnish, which is okay, but the density of the of the colors are higher than the one of the turquoise. So I'm not sure I'm pretty sure that later you see it already disappearing. I'm not sure what is actually left over. So it could be that it's really, really little. So this looks a little messed up, but now imagine, use your imagination. It's such a pity that you... So imagine, I think this is going to drown even more, but it looks like a light um, kind of fabric. And then if I now... I mean, I would still blend it if, I lay, if the lady goes here with the upper part of her body in gold and her feet only one foot here or there or here or whatever and this into the upper body and I think this could be really cool here it's not so mixed but I think it looks like it's gonna look like layers of skirt so not a ballet ballerina but more like a oriental dancer so I need to wait and see how it sinks in or not and then it's all about what you make out of it when you um, paint over it okay now I'm gonna show you the internet search how to find a template how to transfer it with carbon paper on the painting and how that looks then and what pen to use and then the end result and the final conclusions So I picked something and printed something that goes a little bit with the line of the pore, like bending to the left. And I also have probably eventually now the right size. And this is the carbon paper. If you take this out, it's very thin sheets. And basically you press through it and the black part is going to go onto your, your canvas or paper or for whatever you want to use it. So you're just going to use a pen and press a little bit harder and you will have a little bit of it on the canvas. This is basically all you're going to see, just a little bit. And I'm going to use pens, but you can also use brushes or whatever you like. Okay, so that's more or less it. It's really difficult with this one because the uh, pour itself was so had so much air and white, etc. So something to really look into which um, yeah, how you do it eventually more in the center. 
I think it can be nice with this skirt, but I can't keep this one because look at the hands. It's like Edward with the scissor hands. So <laughs> this looks really ugly. Um, for the rest, I actually really liked it. I worked uh, on it with pens, with paint pens, but you can just use a, a something else, whatever you have, whatever you like, even your fingers. Or if it has the right shape already, you don't need it at all. So I hope you like it. If you have any questions, please let me know and I hope to see you back soon.